All right, all right. So today we got the man, the myth, the legend. Uh, this individual found me from a TikTok video, okay? Like, I want you to understand, guys, the power of social media is real. Um, this man is 19, just turned 20. He celebrated a birthday about two, three weeks ago. But the crazy part about all of this, I didn't know him before the video. I, I never met him, never seen him. I don't even know if we were following each other at the time, but it was a TikTok video that I put up that went kind of viral. Go check it out on my TikTok page. And Jose hit me up from it. And we were able to start his process of getting his first Airbnb. Um, I want to be able to introduce Mr. Jose to the call. Jose, thank you so much for being here. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, yeah, my name is Jose Sandoval. I have a, a middle name and, and, and a second last name. So you know, the, the full name is uh, Jose Enrique Sandoval Tinajero. Um, and my parents, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm like mixed. It's like uh, my mom's on, on, you know, she was born in Mexico and my dad, you know, he's, he's born in, in Honduras. So yeah, that's, that's where, you know, my, my genes come from and all this, this other things. Okay. And yeah. Um, I mean, if, to be honest, I, the, the, the nearest thing at the moment, and, and this, I've been thinking about this a lot. It's like the things that I went through and, and I used to smoke, I used to do drugs, you know, high school, you know, um, I was like a soccer player. I really liked soccer at some point. And um, yeah, I was looking forward for that as a future. That was really like the, the, the goal. And, and well, um, uh, yeah, then, you know, I, I had some, some problems here and there. Um, just didn't, didn't make that. Um, I'm not a soccer player at the moment and I'm 20. So, you know, that's probably something that, you know, I'm putting in the past or, or you know, won't find an opportunity for. But um, yeah, I got into uh, hosting about a year ago. I think that's you know the 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 most uh, like highlighted thing that I had seen and, and gotten into um, about a year ago. Almost, no, about a year and a half ago, things started to change a little bit, and um, yeah, like it, you know, I, I, it got different. It got very very nice and and smooth, like smooth and well, I had to do this. And I was working like this job where it was like a self-employment job. And, and, you know, it wasn't going that bad. I was probably getting about a thousand for like two weeks, maybe three weeks. I worked there for like four, four months or so. And um, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't uh, that bad. Uh, I probably did a little bit longer, but you know, um, yeah. Um, I was trying to save all buying motorcycles, selling motorcycles and that went okay. You know, I got up to like 3000 um so i i got my doberman puppy uh you know from from those from those three thousand and um yeah um i think i had so quit. Jose, not yeah. to cut you off i know you, you we want to kind of hear a little bit about that like your wholesale your first deal like how did that happen you know you got into wholesale you were working how did you get the first deal and what was the amount of the first deal i think that's the part that's going to blow everybody away um I had quit it and then I got back into it with my aunt's like boyfriend and we started taking on Zillow. So it was, it was something, you know, like from the source Zillow, um, got that out, uh, started texting. I think I only, I texted about 10 people, you know, 10, 10 different homeowners got into the homeowner section. Um, yeah, I got it off of there. And then, um, like the next day, the, the person's like, you know, well, all right, let's sign at this, this price or whatever. And um, yeah, I think I think she was I think she was a nine hundred thousand dollar lot, wow. and then I we brought it down to like uh, six hundred thousand, and then well, that's uh, a big jump. Good yeah, job. Yeah, <laughs> you dropped her from nine to six. That's a three hundred thousand dollar difference. Like that's major for yeah. your first deal. You got somebody to drop their price by three hundred thousand dollars. Shout out to you. Yeah. And um, I think the next day we found a buyer, you know, I sent it out to this list. I had like a list of like 500 buyers and, you know, we got picked up two weeks later, I get paid $33,000. $33,000. Yeah, don't don't say like, it light, Jose. At the time you were 19 years old. Yeah. 19 years old. And your first deal, one, you got somebody to drop the price by $300,000. Two, you made $33,000 on your first deal like that is huge and it was a land deal it wasn't a house it was land correct 
It was Orlando, yeah. She was uh, a yeah, Orlando. I don't remember. I think she was 0.5 acres. Wow. Yeah. Okay. What um is that what area is that in? What city or state? I think she was in Houston, actually here, yeah. Houston. Okay. Yeah. Nice, nice. So after you did your first deal, what did it feel like? You know, you're 19, you were working, you know, now you have thirty three thousand dollars. What did that what was your first big purchase? What, what was that? Well, uh, the first big well. I think, hmm, <laughs> I don't know. I think food was something that, uh, like, I got more into. Um, I went from from you know eating meat and being and being what is it uh like a, um, well, it's not vegetarian. It's like you know when you eat meat and, and oh and, carnivore like eating meat. It's like mm-hmm. both, right? Like it starts with an O. I forgot the word, whatever. But um, yeah, I, I went into vegan, you know, and, and I started spending like the spending. I think it's more expensive, you know, being vegan, yeah. and and um, yeah, that's that's the first thing that I got into. Um, I mean, I probably spent another two thousand dollars on protein and supplements, <laughs> you know. Um, so you were putting your health first. That was something that was really important for you, being yeah. able to switch from omnivore over to being, you know, just plant based vegan. And then that, that was something that was important for you. So that just goes to show, like to anybody who's listening, you never know what someone else's priority might be. Like for this young man, his priority was his health, being able to have the money, the freedom to go buy the things that he wanted to put into his body to nourish his body. And that was that was a big thing. I know a lot of people say they bought cars and they buy Rolex, and they buy the clothes. This young man at 19 said, I'm going to go buy healthy food to fuel my body. I love that, Jose. Thank you so much for sharing that. Like that, that's really, really big. So now you you bought the food, you got all the stuff out your system, you're scrolling on TikTok, you come across the video and you said, Okay, I wanna now get my first Airbnb, correct? Yeah. Um so I saw your, 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 you know, it, 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 the TikTok was about a $10,000 investment. Mm-hmm. And um, I saw like it had like six units or four units. I don't know, but it was this building and it said $10,000. And I was so interested because I could get my own property and, and do something with that property um, at $10,000. And I had about, you know, 25, maybe more, maybe the 30, maybe 20. So I texted you. I was like, sure, you know, this would be great. What do you, you know, hopefully it's something alike or, you know, can I go in and they, what do you, do you have any more like these? That's, that's what I, you know, would have liked or, or that was the plan or the idea to, to, to get right. something like, and um, you mentioned Airbnb and I had heard about it, you know, a couple of months ago, uh, but, uh, uh, or weeks, but time before. And, and, and so like, I think uh, it was okay, you know, something that I'm I'm still nervous about. Um, now that the the unit is up, and the, the unit is live, and and you know we're we're waiting. Well, I'm you know, and, and but yeah, it was it was interested enough to for me to 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 go into it and 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 invest, you know, view it as an investment and invest in, into it. Um, yeah, yeah. So yeah. like coming from TikTok not knowing me from a can of paint. So I'm seeing a random TikTok video. What was it about myself or the post or what was it about the opportunity that made you move forward? Like, how do you trust somebody from the internet that you don't know to move forward and do such a big deal like this? I mean, you don't, right? It's it's like, I can't, I can't trust anybody or, you know, I can't step into that trusting zone. I mean, I'll probably be able to do it or whenever I'm ready, prepared for it, but, but, you know, I can't trust anybody. So I'll keep myself in my, my comfortable zone, you know, <laughs> there's a little bit of hurt. All right. But uh, yeah. no, it was like, you know, it, it, it might be a risk. And I have heard, you know, people say, take the risk. You know, it's it's like, uh, you know, if you don't take it, then you never know what the outcome, you know, might be from such small risk. It's like me having my Doberman puppy. She has, she has about 300 PSI of bite force. You know, she could chew on my finger, rip my finger off, and I'd be fingerless, you know, and I, you know, I like my body, I like my fingers. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, um, it's like, you know, sure, I'll take that risk, you know, just, just you know, be careful, Jose, you know, type of, uh, you know, thing. No, and, I definitely appreciate it, though, because, like, the first thing what that stood out to me about Jose was he, his age, that's the one thing that just made me just respect this young man 
and be able to really pour into him because I'm like at 19 years old, he's taking such a big risk and his life is going to be forever changed because he's building a real estate portfolio at 19 years old. He already had done his first wholesale deal. Now he's stepping into getting his first Airbnb unit and Jose didn't go small guys. We won't reveal everything on this call, but I want to let you know, he didn't go small. Yeah. Jose went with a, a large unit. He, he did everything. He was coachable. He listened. He followed the steps. And the thing that, that was so important is that he asked the question. At any time, Jose, what did I tell you? You can contact me anytime. And have I ever not answered the phone? No, you have. You have. Exactly. You know what I mean? So we want to make sure that he understood what was going on. We want to make sure that he was aware of every step in the process that he was learning. Because the goal for him after this first unit is to scale up. We don't want him to stay with one unit. We want him to scale up to two, three, four, five units, but it started with the trust, you know? So Jose, with the process, you know, we had to pick the unit. You remember, how did you feel the first day you walked into the unit empty? The first day you ever seen the unit. I have a picture of you, you're at the window and you're looking out the window on a very, very high floor and you just look so amazed. Like, what did that feeling feel like? Well, it doesn't, it didn't, I think, I, I, so I, this is something that I was thinking about earlier and, and, and I really want to recommend it to a lot of people, right? This book, you know, it's the Bible. And I mean, this book taught me everything. I, I still read books, uh, like other books, like nutrition books. Uh, I think uh, there's like a mother book and, you know, some other type of books. And, and I'm finding things that I would think of uh, after reading such, such the, the Bible, that book. I mean, that book, like I, I really put it at, at, you know, a book that I want to continue reading for, for, you know, the lifetime that I have, because it taught me things and it gave me things and it showed me things that uh, I just, I, I walk around and I'm like, man, this, you know, I know this stuff now. And, and for me to even view this is a little bit different. Um, I, I, I seen this, so this isn't that crazy. And I've went through this so I can compare myself to, to this person and, and it really showed me the things that I am, I'm able to walk around earth and, 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 and feel so like, you know, I, I know that I'm not in, in such a danger um, to, to like, you know, it's like to like lose, right? I'm not mm -hmm. in that danger of, of losing. Um, and um, I even thought about earlier, I was like, you know, I might uh, want to give me a, a job or, you know, give me a, a job just in case, you know, everything falls down. Um, I have this other career that I'm building and I wanted to mention to y'all that, you know, I'm planning on sending y'all like the location, you know, you and Daniel of uh, mm -hmm. a competition that I have. I have this modeling competition and um, yeah. Um, and, and, you know, I, I, that's, that's uh, something that I'm, I'm trying to build upon and, you know, uh, acting and, and, and modeling, but uh yeah, it's like, you know, I, I, I you know, if, if everything falls down, I have this and I have that and it's continuing. And, 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 and this, well, it's weird, you know, but, but it comes from, from like wisdom. And, and I really, if you're going to read that book for anybody watching or even yourself or, and I'll go back to that book. It, um, it's uh, Proverbs and Ecclesiastes, those two books, I mean, devoting onto them, reading them, you know, and fullness of mind really changes perspective and shows you and teaches you really amazing really nice um and that day I, I think that day I was like you know this should be normal right I don't know who I'm hanging out with I don't know I don't know I didn't I didn't and I you know who, who it was that you know I was going to be talking to and 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 it was like I think the trusting part of, of the whole was to trust that this goes good or you know trust such such process or or be able to be like comfortable with such a thing and so I was like you know sure let's see what what happens and um and yeah y'all were viewing like the other rooms and I was like uh at some point I was a little bit like ignorant type of you know like well hopefully this goes well let's let's see if we can get done yeah so yeah. I think like coming from that experience and just kind of being present with you be, this journey has been one for me as well just watching you through it has been very enjoyable. It, it brings a lot of pride into the program and knowing that taking care of our students are is the number one thing, right? Making sure that you feel good about it, making sure that you understand it, making sure that your investments make sense. I know that one of our hurdles was um, getting the unit furnished. 
And I think this is a big, big piece that people need to take notes on, right? If you're starting an Airbnb, Jose, we don't have to say any numbers, but did you think that we would spend the money that we spent to furnish your unit? Were you shocked by those numbers? Were you, like, how did you feel about spending that kind of money to furnish, just to furnish the unit? How'd you feel about that? To furnish, the amount, I don't know. I, I'm not, I don't know. I really that, hmm. yeah, I don't, I don't think it was too much, but I, I did, you know, think it was like, a, you know, this is above what I would have <laughs> liked or what I wanted to spend. So, yeah. Yeah. And I, I only bring that up because during the process, we're calling Jose like, hey, we should get this. Hey, you should look at that. Hey, we should get this. And he's like, we got to spend more money. We got to spend more money. <laughs> and it was like, no, we got to get these things because that's a part of the this experience. You know, you want to put this unit up. You want people to come and give you the five-star reviews. We want to make sure people love your unit and their booking and your calendar stays full. So the first part is not even the furniture. It was location. We found a beautiful location in a beautiful area. So that alone, it was breathtaking. Like the views were beautiful. The location was beautiful. So it took us a while to just get the unit location. And then it was like, hey, Jose, it's time to get furniture. And Jose is like, oh, more money. And we're getting more stuff and getting more stuff. Because again, Jose, he didn't start small. He didn't go get a, a studio or anything like that. Jose went to the top of the top and I'll let Jose, you know, we'll drop that later. But right now we want to kind of just keep it very surface level, but he went big and he had to furnish that place to match the lifestyle that was around it. And now as we're, you know, approaching the end of the whole journey, he was able to see it. Like when you walked into your unit that last day and you stay the night at your own unit, how did it feel? Like the first night, like explain to us how that felt. It's very different. It's extremely different. Um, being at such, you know, I don't know if it's high or, or simply at, at a different location, at the location that it's at. Very productive morning. I had I had, I had told uh, Rhonda here, uh, very productive. I mean, felt amazing. Felt like, you know, I was I was in such uh, um, like a, like home that I'm able to, to be myself more and, and, and feel more comfortable and then do more. It was, you know, it was great. Very, very, you know, like better. Yeah, I, I, I can tell, like, when we walked into the unit, Jose is normally, like, uh, his face is kind of the same. He doesn't really get excited or anything like that. But the day he walked in and everything was finished, the painters and all the decorations and everything was put together, we were about to go into the photo stage, his face lit up. Like, I've never seen Jose's face light up before. And he was so happy. And you could tell that he could see his accomplishment. He could see where his investment was. And that's where it, it makes sense. A lot of times when you're getting into these, these ventures and you're putting out the money, you're putting out the money, you're putting out the money, you don't see the, the, the other end yet. You're just seeing the money go out, the money go out. And you're like, okay, you know, I'm spending all this money. The fear sets in. You get a little nervous. You get a little unsure. You start to question yourself. But the moment he opened that door and walked into that unit and he could see every dollar, it was amazing. It, it brought so much joy to me to be able to see him so happy. So I think for me, um, that was such a great part. And now we're all the way done. We got the photos, we got the furniture. Jose's been inside of his unit and stayed there multiple nights to see how it felt. And now it's like, okay, it feels better. It feels good. So I'm super, super excited about that. And Jose, you being a part of the program and trusting in it from a TikTok video says a lot. So I'm going to ask you this, as a result of implementing, you know, me as your mentor and helping you on your first unit, like, what do you think or how do you think your outcome would have been if you didn't have a mentor? If you didn't have help, do you think you would even be at this point? Um, no, no, maybe not. I don't know. It's, it's, uh, it's like comparing, right? The, the, how much can I get accomplished by myself and how much can I get accomplished with, with, uh the the people that are you know that that like instructed me or helped me or or you know the, them those 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 others um and i think it's it, there is a big difference and, and and i like to be more of like no and maybe not and and you know i got it and this is how it is and you know like uh you know even if you know there's other people that do it and 
they're richer and you know probably smarter I, I know and I feel or I'm gonna put it on myself and, and I got it you know mm -hmm. but uh yeah. no it's it's like yeah at some point you know they're they're there like they're I don't know if I described it as like, oh, there are other beings that are, you know, like, like waiting for you to act or do the thing that you're going to do and, or do something else, you know, and, 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 and it really like, I, I don't know, it, the advances way like faster. So yeah, it's, it's like this help. Yeah. Okay. So what is the one thing that you've enjoyed the most about working with me and being inside the program? What's the one thing that stood out to you or that you've appreciated inside of this journey so far um that yeah that that i've heard and 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 and, and i got you know some some sort of proof that you are there that you are already at a, a point that i want to reach um i had seen your car i had seen your mercedes i was like you know i had a dream with the mercedes i had this this dream and i was like 50 years old and, and you know like <laughs> older probably younger but a mercedes very nice mercedes but um yeah i was like uh you know she has that and she probably has this other and and daniel lives here and you know they live here and they're probably gonna move and and they have this this contract and they have these things and it's like that's um that's really i don't know if it's like the friendship that i would have liked that i'd like or that i, I would have liked in my if i was my past self uh but but it's very like uh you know they're there and I and I can talk to them as as uncomfortably as it gets sometimes because it's like well, you know what what you know like um how do I catch you know whatever it is that if they're throwing something how do I catch that you know that and and how do I like continue a conversation with the uh with with them um very different I guess um but yeah it's like like I, I it's like I don't I don't hmm, it's it's different right the friendship or whatever you know it's i i would i would say like it's like this friendship and i put it as a, like it's a friendship um um what was the question again no no i was just saying like being inside the program and working with me like what was the one thing that you enjoyed the one thing that you liked or what's something would you recommend working with me to somebody else you know like it's we, we were strangers we were literally strangers over two months ago and now we have built this business together we've dove, dove into this opportunity together we talk every other day we're on the phone we're you know we're doing all these things so like would you recommend my coaching abilities my program to someone who's watching right now what could you tell them if they're on the fence what could you tell them right now well being like 100 percent honest i don't you know if it's the risk that that you see that you know that you could take take it right and 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 that's with uh with with uh with the opportunity with about Rhonda and Daniel, you know, them, I mean, they're, they, they, they seemed and they, you know, they haven't like, uh, like, uh, you know, said anything, done anything to that just drops like the line of like how they are, who they are, or, or you know, what, what they're here for. It's like, you know, they, they seem, um, they, they've been, you know, like, uh, like friends, right. It's, it's very, like, they've been very as, as, you know, I don't know if it's as nice as they could be or, but you know, it's, <laughs> it's, yeah, I, I think I would recommend and, and would like to, you know, bring somebody, you know, into, into with, with y'all very, you know, it's, it's, it's yeah. Yeah. Hold something says that's good. Yeah. 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 So I know that you, you know, this is your first Airbnb, you know, it's up, it's running. We got the, the listing is live and now we're, you know, we're in, we're in motion. You know, your mom came to your unit, you came to your unit. Now it's like a thing. It went from an idea to an actual tangible thing. And it's like, okay, now are you still working wholesale? Like, what are you doing in between now that you have a unit, it's up and everything. Are you still working your wholesale deals or how does that look for you? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking to like move up the pace on it because uh, it's it's really really slow. Um, like I really want to be working from nine a.m. eight a.m. up to like seven p.m. and just calling agents, you know, homes owners and then buyers. Uh, so yeah, like the the whole wholesale part, I really want to go in into more uh, and deeper and you know stronger. Um, yeah, that's that's yeah. what I'm with that. Yeah. I think that, you know, now that you have your first unit and you know that wholesale works because you did your first deal 
and now you know Airbnb works because you have your first unit, they kind of tie in, you know, they tie in, they go hand in hand and you're able to kind of work them simultaneously. You have, you've onboarded our management company. So you're utilizing that. So you don't have to manage your unit. We have a team that manages, they take care of all your bookings. They make sure the guests are taken care of. So that's something that you were able to automate. Do you have any automation inside of your wholesale business or are you doing everything yourself? No, I'm doing everything myself at the moment. Everything at the moment. Okay. And that's kind of a good thing because when you're doing it by yourself, you know all the areas. So when it's time to scale up, you're able to teach a VA, you're able to teach a partner, you're able to be able to show that person, hey, this is how I like it done. This is what it looks like. So staying very present in your business for the for the first couple of deals makes the most sense before you hire someone on. And then you can't even teach them what needs to be done. So again, you're a very wise young man. Um, I'm super, super excited for everything that you have going on. I'm grateful for you coming from a video and, and trusting in my service, trusting in my coaching and being a part of my program. Um, Jose, if somebody wants to contact you to do any joint venture deals, guys, realize this. I'll tell you, I'll say it and I'll say it again. I will never put anybody on my platform who I don't trust, respect or love because I never want to put my students or my viewers in a situation that isn't going to be lucrative. So Jose, if somebody wants to connect with you and do a joint venture, a JV deal on the wholesale side, how do they contact you? You could call me. You could text me on my phone number. That's uh, 832-680-3844. Um, okay. Yeah, that's the easiest. Do you have any particular type of deals that you like, land, units um condos like do you have any particulars on what you want to work with it would have to be multifamily at the moment that's that's the most interesting you know duplex is okay sure um okay. it's say at 100 200 maybe 300 but but you know right. you know up to like 10 units that would be great all right so he's saying he wants multifamily units any particular state or city or are you open houston should be fine uh texas is bigger you know yeah. All right. Everything's bigger than Texas. Yeah. <laughs> so he wants multifamily units in Texas preferred. Reach out to him via his phone number. Um, send him a message. Don't waste his time, guys. Make sure the deal is there. Um, again, you can negotiate your own splits with him. But I want to show you some from wholesale to Airbnb. I'll make sure that you guys get all his information. We'll put his listing in the comments below so you guys can book with Jose if you're ever in the Houston area. Book with my guy. Make sure that you go fill up his unit. Leave him some five-star ratings. Jose, thank you so much for being present on this call. Thank you for dropping the gems and sharing your story. We look forward to seeing you with more units, more success, and we'll see you at the top, Jose. Thank you again. We appreciate you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much.